With the referendum due later this year, I believe the time for the voice has come. I believe in local and regional voices. I believe in a national voice drawn from local and regional bodies, and I will support the referendum being put this year. I believe that the voice can help move the dial on Indigenous education, health, housing, safety and economic development. A short time ago, I resigned as Shadow Attorney General and Shadow Minister for Indigenous Australians. I've had many respectful discussions with colleagues about The Voice over the past year. I've listened to their views and they've heard mine, but ultimately I haven't been able to persuade them. It's clear that the Shadow Cabinet and the Party Room and I have taken a different position in relation to The Voice. I resign without rancour or bitterness and I remain a loyal Liberal fully committed to the leadership of Peter Dutton. There's always been a place in this country, in, the, in our heart and soul, for civil debate, for discussion that helps us find common ground. And in this debate, that means not calling those who disagree with you racist or inferring that they come to the table in bad faith. And it means not assuming that those who disagree with you want special privileges. The voice is not about special privileges. It's about recognising that our Indigenous brothers and sisters uh, and sorry, it, it is about recognising that Indigenous Australians are our brothers and sisters and we have left them behind in our shared national project. Peter came to a, came to a point where he, he has come to this whole debate with an open mind and a good heart, um, as many of my colleagues uh, did, absolutely, but we, we kept uh, not being able to engage the Prime Minister in this. What I'm looking forward to doing in the next period is to engaging all members of the Parliament on, the, on this issue and finding a way forward uh, to get a successful referendum. Absolutely.